This is the Kenyan teacher. It is our pleasure to once again present 2022 KCSE Chemistry Paper 1. In this video, we present the expected responses to question number 6. Question 6 tested the topic of electrochemistry once again. Remember, the same topic was tested in question number three, the same year. Welcome and be with us until the end. Various types of cells are used to electrolyze concentrated sodium chloride. One of them is the mercury cell. Part A, name another type of cell that can be used. So, normally, we have three cells that can be used here. We have mercury cell. The other one is called diaphragm cell. The other one is called diaphragm cell. And we also have the membrane cell. So diaphragm or membrane cell for that mark. Remember, mercury cell is already mentioned. So a candidate needed not to have written that as an answer. Moving on, part B. The mercury cell uses titanium or graphite as anode and mercury as cathode. State why steel is not used for the anode. So what we know is that at anode, we normally produce chlorine gas and steel is actually made of iron and we know iron reacts with chlorine so the answer expected here is that the iron present in steel in steel reacts or would react with chlorine with chlorine to form ion 3 ion 3 chloride to form ion 3 chloride so that is the reason why we don't use steel. The marking point is actually iron in steel reacts with chlorine for one mark. If a candidate stated that steel reacts with chlorine, still we would give the mark. You don't have to mention iron. You would simply say that steel reacts with chlorine. Part C, at anode, Chloride ions are, and not hydroxide ions are, are oxidized. We are asked to give a reason. Quite easy. A candidate would tell the examiner that chloride ions are in higher concentration. They are in higher concentration than, than the hydroxide ions for that one mark. If a candidate told us that the sodium chloride solution used is concentrated, sodium chloride solution used is concentrated, we would still give the mark. We proceed now to part D. So part D is asking our candidates to describe but this time round, using strictly equations, not words, how sodium hydroxide and hydrogen are produced in the cell. I want to remind our candidates that we did a video on mercury cell, whose link we shall share in the description to this one. And when you go through that video, this question would be so easy to answer. So what happens is that, the first thing that happened, sodium ions in aqueous state, they migrate to the cathode. And at cathode, they are reduced to form sodium in liquid form. This would give our first mark. Once we form this sodium, the sodium formed reacts then with mercury and we are able to form what we call sodium 
mercury amalgam we are told to use equations so i'm describing these processes in words but the examiner uh, expected all the students to write these answers in equation form so the moment we get the amalgam the amalgam normally moves to the next compartment of the cell where it reacts with water and we are able now to form our sodium hydroxide in aqueous state we are able to form to recycle sorry our mercury and hydrogen gas is also produced this equation would then be balanced with a 2 on our amalgam a 2 on water a 2 on sodium hydroxide and a 2 on mercury for the third mark no words expected here just equations and if you messed with the state symbols you would still deny you half a mark to the next question part e we are asked to give two reasons why it is necessary to recycle the mercury in the cell mercury is poisonous so we cycle and mercury is expensive for being expensive there are alternatives of mercury being economical to recycle and there was another alternative of recycling minimizes minimizes wastage so any of these would earn the candidate one mark each to end question number six we are told in part f that the products of electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride find extensive use in industries we are then asked to state the role of chlorine and sodium hydroxide in the paper industry for chlorine we use it to bleach to bleach the wood pulp that would be the work of chlorine bleach for one mark for sodium hydroxide we use it to either digest or soften or decompose decompose or to break down to break down the wood pulp pulp not pulp pulp any of those words would earn ourselves the last mark for question number six and up to that point we are through with our review of the expected responses for question number six remember for the year 2022 electrochemistry was tested twice it was tested in question number three and in question number six question three we had 12 marks and in question six we had 10 marks this makes a total of 23 marks out of 80 coming from the topic of electrochemistry keep it here for more reviews and we thank you for your time watching this video